To write the formula for sodium aluminum sulfate, let's first write the element symbol for sodium, which is just Na. Next, we have aluminum, so let's just write Al for aluminum. Then for the sulfate, that ends in Ate, so that means that's going to be a polyatomic ion. So you either memorize that the sulfate ion is SO4, and the whole thing has a charge of 2 minus, or if you're allowed, you could look it up. I recommend you memorize this sulfate ion. It comes up a lot in chemistry. So sodium and aluminum, they're both metals, and then the sulfate ion here, it's a group of nonmetals. It's a polyatomic ion. Because of that, we have an ionic compound, and the charge needs to balance. So if you look up sodium on the periodic table, that'll have a 1 plus ionic charge. It's in group 1. Aluminum group 13, sometimes called 3A, that's 3 plus. And then this whole sulfate ion right here is 2 minus. So for the sodium aluminum sulfate, this is neutral. It doesn't say ion after it. So all of these charges, they have to add up to zero, give us a net charge of zero. Right now, we have one plus and three plus. That's four plus, and then we have two minus. So it doesn't add up to zero. What we can do is put parentheses around this sulfate here and put a subscript of two out here. Two times two minus, that's four minus. That'll balance out the four plus here. So this is the formula for sodium aluminum sulfate, NaAlSO42. We have two of these sulfate ions with the sodium and aluminum. Note that this is the anhydrous form. If we had this hydrated, if there were water molecules attached to it, we'd end up with NaAlSO42 and the 12 water molecules around it. This is Dr. B with the formula for sodium aluminum sulfate. Thanks for watching.